Shmups, shoot 'em ups, never successfully made the transition out of the arcades and into people's homes. Designed to eat coins, they're just too hard. I keep dying to this spam because I can't track this many bullets. Shmups feature one primal skill dodging, and it feels like you're either born with it or not. I'm definitely not. But turns out, I don't actually need to be. I've recently learned that shmups are about more than just dodging. They have strategy. Many of those strategies revolve around controlling the screen space. Some enemy bullets, especially bosses, are arranged in predetermined patterns, but others are aimed directly at the player. Aimed bullets can be manipulated. It's a bit counterintuitive, but it's a game of territory control. Enemies shoot straight at you, dividing the screen between your free space and their bullet spam. So go slow, hold the front lines and don't give up more ground than you need to. Or you'll find yourself pinned in the corner with no room to dodge. It's also about angles. Staying at the bottom of the screen gives you more time to react to set patterns, but higher positions are better for manipulating aimed bullets. Look how long these bullets are on screen compared to this. See how much free space you can take control of by manipulating enemy fire. Be careful though, enemies tried to manipulate the screen space too. This enemy is pushing me to the side with its pattern. It's boxing me out to the point where I can't even get shots on it. Being offline means I can't shoot enemies, which means they stay alive longer, they get more time to span the screen with even more bullets, and the whole thing snowballs into my defeat. Usually you'll want to avoid risky, dangerous areas, but sometimes the most dangerous looking spot on the board is exactly the right place to be. Some games even feature a dangerous technique called point blanking, where you do more damage the closer you are. Generally, you'll want to be further back, but being in front of the enemies is vital, even before they appear on the screen. As you play a shmup more, you'll learn more about its enemy spawning patterns. You'll figure out which enemies to prioritize and speed kill before things get out of hand. It's learned through repetition, and yes, learned by dying, which kinda sucks, but finally you end up feeling like Tom Cruise in Edge of Tomorrow. Rather than just pure dodging skill, knowledge becomes the path to mastery. You'll learn victories over once impossible stages and dance on the remains of your enemies. But dodging, there's no avoiding it. Um, what I mean is you'll have to dodge some pretty ridiculous patterns, but they get better with familiarity. You may look at this screen filling bullet hell spam and think there's no way, but you learn to break it down, step by step. First left, then right, it's like a dance. Awkward at first, but soon your body is moving on its own. It's training the autopilot. You'll learn strategies to break patterns down so you're not relying on pure reaction speed. I had tons of trouble dodging these two patterns that crisscross each other, overlap and hit you from two directions at once. Even the corner wasn't working out for me until I figured out if I actually moved towards the first shell, I would finish dodging it by the time the second wave of bullets arrive. Strategy let me break it down into two steps instead of having to dodge both at once. Another cool example is this mid-boss in blue revolver that relies on sound cues. These big purple aim bullets can be completely ignored. All you have to do is switch directions every second time you hear the firing sound and they'll never hit you. Now I can focus 100% of my attention on dodging the blue bullets. But sometimes you're faced with a fresh bullet help, you're not prepared or practiced and there's nothing you can do but dodge and pray. But you'll be more successful at this than you might think, because your hitbox is deceptively tiny, and the bullet's hitboxes are often smaller than they appear too. Combined, it means you can actually squeeze through gaps that seemingly don't exist. It's forgiving. I'd say you get away with mistakes more often than you're actually punished for them. The second reason even I can be a god at dodging is that the games are designed to work with the human brain. You've probably noticed that all the games I've featured are vertically orientated. Even in the age of widescreen, vertical shmups are vastly more popular than horizontal ones. It could be the narrow field of view means you're not relying on peripheral vision. 
Or maybe vertically you can map yourself much more closely to the character on screen. This combined with the ultra simple controls hijacks your instincts. It activates your flinch response. Sometimes I dodge things and I don't even know how I did it. It's like I acted on pure reflex. Strategies and dodging may help you succeed, but what success means is ultimately up to you. Traditionally it's been high scores or the arcade dream of a one credit clear, beating the whole game with just one coin. Despite lacking a coin slot, even contemporary shmups usually stick to the ancient arcade model for player goals. But I think it's time to forget about the arcade. Shmups are only fun when super challenging, when pushing you to the edge of your ability. So I'd like to see this necessary difficulty balanced with shorter goals. You can create this for yourself with stage select and save states, repeating small sections that are currently a bit too hard for you. It's really the only way to learn how and when to apply these strategies, to discover the hidden depths of the genre. Macro game structure aside, shmup gameplay is more than just dodging. If I've inspired you to give it a shot, my biggest recommendation for newcomers is the first Esp Galuda if you can be bothered with emulation. For games you can buy and play right now, check out the comments. Good luck, pilot. If you want to learn more about shmups, maybe check out the Electric Underground. Uh, just give me a sub before you go, or maybe watch some of my other videos if you like this one. Thanks a lot. See ya.